People talk a lot about the fact that what used to be three or four days in the hospital is now same day surgery. There's a reason for that. It's because the technology has advanced so much that there's no reason to hang around for three or four days. You can be in, you can be out. You can change the way that people get anesthesia so that they get less of it, so they can actually walk out four or five hours after a surgery. That's amazing because the statistics and all the data tell us if you're at home recuperating, you're going to get better much faster and your risk of infection is much lower. All terrific things. I'm Margaret Coughlin. I'm the Senior Vice President and the Chief Marketing Officer for the Mount Sinai Health System, which includes eight hospitals and our medical school, and we've got revenue of about eight and a half billion dollars. Mount Sinai was actually started as a hospital in order to serve people who couldn't be served anyplace else. So it actually was serving Jewish immigrants because way back in the day, over 150 years ago, those immigrants weren't served in any of the hospitals in New York. And that sort of speaks to the ethos and passion of who we are. The heart and soul of this place is taking care of people and serving people who are underserved in a variety of different ways. Our main campus is right smack in the middle of East Harlem, so we serve our local community, but we also serve people from all over the world and certainly all over the five boroughs of New York. And so a large part of what I do is focus in on the service lines that we want to grow, the types of patients that we know should be here, and make sure that they understand who Mount Sinai is and they come here to get their care and they stay here for their continuity of care. Being a system of eight hospitals and a medical school, we obviously are very much about innovation and entrepreneurship as it applies to medicine and medical care. So if you start to think about the use of artificial intelligence, for example, to predict what it is that a patient needs, what it is the patient might ask about, what a patient might do, and then customizing their experience so that you're delivering things to them at the moment that they're going to need them, that would be phenomenal. More and more hospitals and doctors and all health systems are beginning to understand that the patient experience is going to be what drives loyalty. We have a tremendous amount of information about our patients that can help us to make sure that they get better care. That technology and data, the combination of those two things is where the magic and the power, I think, of healthcare is today. The other issue is people. The people that I have have to be complemented by the people that I have externally in our partners so that my folks are always learning. They have to be insatiably curious. They've got to be constantly wanting to see what's the next thing, what's the next thing, while they're keeping things stable and managing to move the things along that we've already put in. So all of those things can get in the way or all of those things can be huge assets. I'm endeavoring to make them all huge assets.